Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be making another salad. This one is a tostada salad, a Mexican inspired dish. Really easy to make, really delicious, very healthy and very substantial. The preparation time is about 15 minutes and since I'm going to be making my own tostadas, the cooking time is also about 15 minutes. Let's get started. Let's go through the ingredients. For the dressing we need a third of a cup of red onions, a third of a cup of chopped tomatoes, a quarter of a cup of chopped cilantro, one chopped jalapeno pepper, one garlic clove finely minced, half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, salt and black pepper to taste. We also need three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cumin and finally we need the juice of one lime, about three tablespoons. For the salad we need half an iceberg lettuce, one bell pepper, any color you want, three ears of yellow corn, you can use canned corn if you want. We also need avocados, one is enough for two servings. We need half a cup of shredded cheese, I'm using a Mexican blend but you can use your favorite cheese. We need one can of black beans. And since I'm going to be making my own tostadas, I also need some corn tortillas to make them. But you can buy tostadas at the grocery store if you prefer so. For the tostadas I need a pinch of salt, black pepper and chili powder plus about a tablespoon of olive oil. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the dressing. Combine all the ingredients together, the tomatoes, red onions, cilantro, jalapeno pepper and garlic. Season with half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper plus three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cumin and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Add the juice of one lime and half a cup of olive oil. Mix all the ingredients together and set aside. I'm going to simmer the corn in boiling water for about 15 minutes or until tender. Drain and set aside to cool. Wash the lettuce and cut it in big chunks and set aside. To make the tostadas, I'm going to brush the tortillas with a bit of olive oil and I'll sprinkle with salt, pepper and chili powder on both sides. Cook in the oven for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees or until golden brown. You can get tostadas from the grocery store if you prefer so. I'm going to rinse and drain the black beans. I want to get rid of all the liquid that is in the can. That liquid is very salty and you don't want it in your salad, so rinse well and set aside. As you can see, my tostadas are ready. They are beautiful and golden brown and I'm almost ready to play my salad. The corn is also ready. I removed it from the boiling water a while ago, so now it's cool to handle. I'm going to remove the kernels from the cob. So grab the ear by the tip and hold it tight and with a paring knife cut the kernels, avoiding the cob. After 15 minutes in boiling water, the kernels should be really tender, so removing them from the cob should be fairly easy. Keep on repeating this process until all the kernels have been cut off and set aside. I have all my ingredients right here. Now I'm going to build my salad. At this point you can combine all the ingredients, put the tostadas in a large bowl and add the dressing just before you're ready to eat. You will be serving the salad on top of a tostada. If you want, you will also garnish with another tostada on top or you can also garnish with uh, tortilla chips. I'm making this just for me so there is no point in mixing all the ingredients together. I will just assemble my salad right now. So the first layer is a tostada. On top, I will add about half a cup of lettuce, two tablespoons of black beans and two tablespoons of bell peppers. I will also add some corn kernels and I will also add the chicken. The chicken is about half a breast that I had left over from yesterday. You don't have to use any chicken if you don't have any left over. I will also add half a small avocado. I'll sprinkle with some shredded cheese and garnish with tortilla chips or a tostada if you prefer so. And I'll add the dressing whenever I'm ready to eat. And that's about it. Enjoy! If you're looking for more healthy recipes, please check out Anna from Easy Gluten Free here on YouTube. She has an amazing gluten free channel. Her recipes are really easy and delicious and if you're not in a gluten free diet, her recipes can be easily modified to meet your diet. She's awesome. Please support her channel. 
Please visit my blog to print these and some other delicious recipes and join me on Facebook if you like. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future updates and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.